In the opening episode of Solo Leveling, the narrative unfolds three years ago as a Navy officer queries his captain about their non-participation in a battle, with the captain emphasizing the role of hunters in handling such situations. The storyline transitions to a scene of low-rank hunters, engaged in battle against a swarm of formidable ants. Despite their efforts, the hunters find themselves overpowered, only to be rescued by the arrival of S-rank hunters. Meanwhile, Guildmaster Choi and his team are engaged in combat against a different ant army. The audience is then provided insight into the universe's origins, revealing that ten years prior, gates connecting the human world with an alternate dimension opened, unleashing magic beasts immune to conventional weapons. The awakened humans, known as hunters, are classified from S to E based on their magical power, and once awakened, they cannot attain greater strength. Moving forward three years, characters Park and Kim discuss life, questioning why Park continues to participate in raids. Solo Leveling's protagonist, Sun Jin Wu, enters the scene, prompting remarks from Kim about Sung being one of the weakest hunters. A meeting is held by their leader, Song chi Yo, where they discuss an impending raid, and the group travels through a gate. In parallel, a conversation between Chairman Go and an associate touches on government, concerns about dungeon breaks and the directive for hunters to collect valuable items from dungeons. Essence stones, collected from magic beasts, are highlighted as potent resources with applications in weaponry and gear. The government's plan to use these items for clean energy production is also revealed. Back in the dungeon, the hunters, led by Song, celebrate their victory over the boss. Sung, reflecting on his decision to proceed with the raid, faces skepticism from Johei, who questions his pursuit of the hunter lifestyle given the injury sustained. The group discovers a cave, contemplating whether it leads to another dungeon. Song suggests waiting for the hunters' association's guidance, but Park, confident in the safety due to its connection to a deranked dungeon, proposes proceeding. Sung, influenced by his family's challenging circumstances, opts to move forward, setting the stage for their next adventure. Meanwhile, an agent and Choi discuss matters involving B-rank and C-rank hunters. Choi expresses satisfaction and instructs the agent to make an offer if they prove valuable. The narrative then shifts to Sung and the team on their way to confront the second dungeon's boss. Johei's frustration with Sung's decision is evident. As they enter the dungeon, they notice distinct features from the previous one. Song reads an ancient scripture, setting off a chain of events. The dungeon statues become a cause for concern, and Sun reflects on his experiences, acknowledging his keen eye for opportunities and dangers. A statue's laser attack results in casualties, leaving Sun questioning whether he and his allies will escape the perilous situation with their lives intact, concluding the episode on a suspenseful note. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.